Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. I'm Wanur Hidayah binti Wan Anwar. This video is the continuity of previous lecture on the DNA. Our topic today is on the hypothesis of DNA replication. On this video, we are going to focus on the second lesson learning outcomes which will discuss on hypothesis of DNA replication. By the end of this video, you are expecting to be able to differentiate the three DNA replication models that will be explained later. Remember that DNA can be copied in every cells of living organisms. So here, we are going to learn on the possible manners to copy DNA molecule. The process of copying DNA molecule is called DNA replication. Scientists have developed three hypotheses on DNA replication to justify the process. Let us first think, when and how does the DNA replicate? Basically, the DNA is replicated during the cell cycle in the interface particularly in the S phase, also known as the synthesis phase. The DNA is actually called in the chromosomes and both strands of the DNA will act as a template for copying its replicate. Okay, so in the late of 1950s, there are three different mechanisms were proposed by our scientists for the manners or order how the replication of DNA occur. So there are three models that, that are being pro proposed by the scientists involving the conservative model, the semi-conservative model and the dispersive model. All this model derive its name from the fact that how they are replicated. So as for the conservative model, they this happens when the two parental strands reassociate after acting as templates for the new strands to be synthesized, thus will restoring the parental double helix. It defines conservative in a way this replication maintains the original strands. However, for semi-conservative model, it is begin when two strands of the parental molecule separate and each function as a template for synthesis of a new comp complementary strand. And thus, this will produce two copies of each contain one of original strands and the other one strands is the new synthesis DNA. Last but not least is the dispersive model. Dispersive model, on the other hand, produce daughter molecules contains mixture of old and new DNA on each strand. This is how these three models dif differs with each other. Alright, so let's see if our DNA is replicated via conservative model. Okay, the first thing first, we need to have an original double helix. So this double helix must be first separated uh, to have a P1A and P1B here as a template for the replication to occur. Okay, um, and then um, to proceed with the first one, of replication, you will produce the newly synthesized strands designated as N1 here as the uh, new product for each of the templates. Okay, if they follow the conservative model, it means that the parental strands will reassociate and maintain their original structure, and the other newly synthesized molecules also will bind together and you will have the N1 molecule as the end product. And if the products of the first round of replication undergo further replication through second round of replication, the daughter molecule will now act as a parental molecule. So it will follow the same manners whereby the parental molecule must be separated and then the newly synthesized strand will be synthesized from the templates, which here designated as N2. And for the conservative model, as usual, um, the parental strands will reassociate to maintain its uh, original structure, 
and you will have the N2 as a daughter molecule that consists of both newly synthesized strand. Okay, now so we should see on how semi-conservative model will work. Okay, when you have the original double helix, the double helix must be separated. Okay, and you will have P1A and P1B. When uh, this, the, this trans act as a template, it will produce a newly synthesized strand here designated as N1. For the semi-conservative model, um, the daughter molecule will maintain as uh, as one the daughter molecule will maintain as one of the strands is the uh, original strands and the other one is the newly synthesis strand. So it will have the combination of old and new strands here. Okay, and then if uh, this will undergo further replication for the second round, so as usual. It also, uh, the strands also are being separated and then you will produce a newly synthesis strand uh, designated as N2 here and it will maintain the structure as one old and one new strand for the daughter molecule. Okay, so there are scientists that are not agree with the conservative N semi-conservative model postulate a new model called dispersive model. For the dispersive model, uh, the original double helix also first will be separated to have uh, templates for uh, replication to occur. However, uh, the dispersive model in which two new DNA molecules are produced will contain a region of either both original or both new strands. So um, when this replication occur, the parental DNA segments will disperse in newly synthesized strand in daughter, mo daughter molecule of DNA and will produce a mixture of old and new DNA on each strands. And uh, the same will occur for the second round of re replication where you can see uh, the daughter molecules for uh, designated as N2 here you will have a mixture of the old strand with a new synthesized strand on each of the daughter molecule. Alright, so from the three hypotheses of how your DNA is going to be replicated, until today, we are accepting the semi-conservative model that is predicted by Watson and Crick and also is supported by experiment done by uh, Matthew Meselson and Franklin Stauss. Alright, so here for the semi-conservative model, uh, it is suggested that the parent molecule will act as a template for both of your strands. So when the parental strand uh, serves as the template, it will determine the order of nucleotides along the new complementary strand. So the newly synthesis strand will be replicated by the basis of complementary base pairing. Okay, now you will have a daughter DNA molecule, each consisting of one parental strand and one a new strand. All right, so now we can conclude that uh, the Watson and Crick semi-conservative model predicts that when a double helix replicates, each daughter molecule will have one old strand and the other one newly made strands is uh, widely accepted. And these competing models were the conservative models where it is suggested that parent strands will rejoin and the other one is the dispersive model which on the east strand is a mixture of old and a new uh, molecules of the DNA. So we can say that until today, semi-conservative model is the well-accepted model for the DNA replication to occur for, the, for all the living organism. Okay, so that's all for today's topic. Uh, I will continue with DNA replication on uh, how the process will occur. 
So thank you. See you later.